Peace, love, and light. <clears throat> Namaste, Ashe, to all those in the classroom <clears throat> right now. Damn, pardon self. <laughs> uh, Cause uh, I ask for a sort of guidance, like I always do. <clears throat> And any of the things that I do, you know, I ask the spirits to guide me and they guide me. Um, so that's why I say namaste, ashe, to all the gods and the goddesses that have been guiding me since day one. <laughs> Throughout all my lives, you know, my spirit has and, and so has went through this journey of ascension. Now, but what I want to talk about is not, not anything metaphysical or spiritual, just basic common sense about um, the system that we're in and how people are quick to throw somebody else's money into the situation when in this system of money is just paper backed by nothing. There's nothing back in our dollar, at least the, the U.S., Petro dollar, as I'm learning, but you know, I'm not gonna get too deep because fair use. You know, I'm not any of that stuff uh, legally, and you do your own research on that. But we all know that the U.S. Uh, what's it called the um, the gold standard, right? Uh, Nixon took out the gold standard, so the the money's back, and that was in '71 or '72. And so the money's backed by nothing. So anytime I see somebody talking about another artist's money, because they see that the industry is using this artist for this particular moment in time for whatever their gender is. Like me, I got woke up when, you know, I learned a lot about Tupac. And, you know, I was, uh, I brought the whole, you know, Tupac illusion. Not a, you know, saying that he was a fake person, but he was an actor, you know what I'm saying? Playing a part, a great actor at that. And then you come to find out there are a lot of um, uh, entertainers are acts and they tell you they're talent, you know, and a lot of us believe in the whole package that gets thrown with these actors. And you can't, for me in a battle, you could you can't, uh, talk about their money, especially if you don't know their contract, you don't know their structure, you don't know what, you know, you just only assuming because you see them right now and you see them look like they on top right now, but you don't, you know, oh, yo, his money, this rapper's broke, such and such rapper's broke because they ain't got no money. They ain't got, <laughs> when I just explained to you that money is based on air, right, on nothing. So it's about gaining assets and learning uh, financial literacy. Instead of quick to, you know, you talk about certain rappers that I I, I like because I love the art of rap and um, artistry and crafting a song and making a song memorable, making a, a song emotional. Uh, whatever kind of feeling that the artist is cre trying to create in that that moment in that song, that's what it's all about, right? At the end of the day. But a lot of stuff is gimmicky, is commercialized, is repetitive, and it's not magic like I, you know, would consider pure magic as I'm learning. You know, it's like I said, it's it's a fairy tale, you know, with a little pixie dust that they throwing on some of these artists, you know, and and a lot of my family members will argue with me right now about who is better and who's nice. And you know what the first thing they'll say? His money. Well, he's broke. Well, such and such. Well, we talking about the artistry, the craft, man. We who cares about that fake money. Like if the song is not dope or moving, then or what what does that song do for humanity itself? Is it giving humanity any wisdom? Anything new to the table? No. A lot of these songs, it's all repetitive. I sold many bricks. I shot a whip. I'm spinning the block. It's nothing, you know, crafty. Like, like that's why Nas will always be in that particular category of, of timeless artists that it's hard to compete with. I don't care about, you know, nobody's money. We talking about artistry. You know, the stuff that he crafts, 
himself, not a whole bunch of fucking writers and all these different people that's putting the import. This is all from the source, and it's magical, and uh, that's that's you know divine. You know, it's God, and a lot of artists that are like that don't get any credit because of the industry and you know, oh, he don't got no money. <laughs> He's a billionaire. It, it, we just, you know, the money is based on what? Air? You know what I'm saying? So, like, let's get financial literacy first before you start putting um, and learning the game. You know, not just the game, but learning the craft. Like, real dope music. And a lot of us do know this shit. We know good soul music. But we done got so programmed and brainwashed to just like whatever's being thrown at us. And the first thing that, that they'll use is, he's broke, he don't have no money. Like that's supposed to be an excuse for making good music or not good music, inspirational music. And my music, I don't want it to be based on any of that. You know, I don't care what they classify me, crazy, broke, whatever. I know I'm spiritually wealthy. You know, I'm, I, I come from abundance, so there's, there's no price on that <laughs> when you're dealing with abundance, you know, and you can't put a price on life. You, well, I ain't going to say that because you can do what you want to do. But in my practice, there's just certain things you can't put a price on. And when you're dealing with this kind of art where it's going to be here forever, <laughs> you don't want to make just anything. At least I don't, you know. Just for the dollar, you know, the so-called dollar value. Tomorrow the dollar might be gone, you know, and we on some with that the, the crypto and all this imaginary stuff that has it's just gone, man. And I ain't gonna get into all that kind of um uh talk. I just wanted to put that out there about you know don't pocket watching another artist or because you see an artist. A number one artist, he got all these Grammys and all this stuff. And so you brought the illusion. <laughs> you know how many people got Grammys and are broke? <laughs> got Oscars and are broke and got all these fucking awards and are broke. So uh, it's not even about the money for me. It's about the spiritual wealth and knowledge yourself and understanding, you know, the game. The chess, the chessboard, the Monopoly game, and not being so quick to uh, judge what you see, you know? Do some analyzing first. Don't be fed a fucking lie, you know? And then you run with it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's bro. Yeah. Oh, the baby. Yeah, he, he did this. Uh, Rallo. All these, <laughs> not saying that they're whack or anything, but I don't pocket watch them. I check the artists, you know, and I check the craft. You know what I'm saying? Because I know it's all, you know, orchestrated by the big machines, you know, and that's what it is. So one time for the one time, know thyself, know thy worth, you know, and let's make some changes for the better, you know, not for the dollar, you know, for humanity. And that's what my whole thing is. One time music, sunshine TV. Every time I touch a mic or speak to someone, it's coming from a soul, spiritual perspective and trying to awaken them out of that sleep state, if I can, you know. If not, hey, you know, I'm, I'm cool. You cool. <laughs> so one time for the one time, this is not, I wanted to do some freestyle, but I ain't going to do it right now. I just wanted to speak about that money and how um, we been programmed to say talk about somebody else's wealth and not understand the financial literacy, not one bit. So let's get it right. Know thyself. Know the game is chess, not checkers. Peace. <laughs>